Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Okay, that's positive. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm. Maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> I'd love to have another chat with her again in person. But alas, belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. anti Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. Hmm? You mean me? Hmm, perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon's servant. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form, hmm? In your dreams. You know, A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal servant is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. You did quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle, but when they face the Raiden Shogun herself, considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue, they are ultimately quite helpless. <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Ah ah ah, it seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. Even though she will one day... sees your vision, too? Oh, it's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion rendered meaningless by circumstance. The vision hunt decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. 
and your masters, the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. Three days. Come back here in three days and I will show you the evidence. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiu Matsuban, a genuine, bona fide ninja. It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shiu Matsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. I knew you would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? Well, the things you wanted to see but also wished not to see are here before you. Surely, you aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, Take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. I hope we can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. You've lost, eh? Why can you not trust your people, and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream, for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. 
I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. Oh. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean... that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? <laughs> But I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> You are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Oh, I handed that over. You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus, the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain, exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> it's to thank you. You intend to travel all over to Vat. And the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. What would you like to know about? Are you sure? 
Okay, then. Oh, Traveler, do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. <laughs>